Hey everyone, before we get into the video, could you let me know how the new style of video today is? I cut out a lot of filler to do with the NPC regular treatments on the route, and I put a lot more edits into it. If possible, it would be really appreciated if you could leave a comment let me know what you feel about the new style, because I kind of want to do this style going forward into the videos, because it allows me to cut out a lot more, keep the video length down, and I'll include a lot more main than for the main fights in the notice lock uh, going forward. So just a little comment to like, let me know how that is this episode and i'll take the feedback on board and continue it later on in the series so enjoy the video and i'll see you guys soon yo what's good guys cube here back again for the first time in a while but if whatever part number this is of the platinum random mountain nose look like maybe honest, i haven't checked beforehand i think it may be part nine or something who knows i'll double check that actually funny enough it actually is part nine part eight was the last episode that was a complete random guess but you know what i'm taking it Okay, so last time out, obviously, if you guys have seen the episode, or rather, if you haven't seen it, so go watch it now, because I'm about to see what happened in the last episode real quick. So, three, two, one. We lost a team member, that being Gex the Grove. I right into the level of two away from becoming a septile. I really did think in the last episode, I feel health without a crit, by the way. Great, I didn't know how much that mission actually did. I really, realized it's a really powerful move now, but um, I thought I'd be able to live at least one. And then I would have swapped down, we would have been fine and kept all the members, but it is what it is, so... Alexa the Houndoom, Casper the Dusclop, oh. Ryanair and Dactyl to swap Infigex, Marina the Octillery, our starter, Yogi the Ursary, and Bombshell the Shelter. I actually don't know how close we are to Cloyster, so I actually need to double check that. Oh right, it's a Waterstone evolution, not a level up. Ooh, we might be in a little bit of trouble then, okay, you know. We've got a Thunderstone. Not a water stone. Okay, we got a water stone with Cloyster is a possible option, and we don't have a nice type in the team, I don't think so. Wouldn't be a, a half bad option, honestly, you know what I'm saying? But today we need to go ahead and do the double battle of Dawn against Team Galactic Grunts and then make our way down towards Pistoria. So let's get started, shall we? It's gonna be a double fight right off the bat, and because they can double into one target, I'm gonna go with my more bulkier mon right off the bat, which is being Casper, so let's go. Thank you, please can you help me? Do you remember the Team Galactic those horrible people? They tried to steal Professor Ruin's research results in Jubilee, remember? I ran to them and they took away my Pokedex. Please need your help. Team up and battle with me. Sure. Let's get it. Now, I believe if I'm not mistaken, uh, I haven't played this game in a bit. Well, this file in about a month. But um, I believe we get the, fly, the fly HM after this. So yeah, and they're going to say that I did on a Puccino. Pretty easy, honestly. Also, it's crazy that you fight level 32 in the gym and you go immediately down to level 24 to fight right after. That's kind of crazy how they did that. Ah, uh, well, I've got dark time. I can't remember. Is dark good against ghosts or ghosts good against dark? It's one of the. It's one way or the other. I'm gonna go shadow punch and push in and see, see what happens here. Never mind. I think Mikey may have just defeated on its own. Cool. Lovely. All right. Nice. That means I'm not hitting that with them because it's a normal type. Really? Ghosts gonna have fighting types? I I never thought that was possible. Is it, oh, maybe ghosts can't fight in, but then fighting can't kind of ghosts. I know one of them can't each other. Rowlet, and who's the other guy coming out? All right, that's a bit more heat. That is definitely a bit more heat. This grunt's got the key to the, we've got like half the puzzle to the entire plot of, of uh, Pokemon Platinum version, it seems. If you've played the game, you should know what I'm on about. But this is a steel dragon type. Um, Yeah, Um, this thing's also a special attacker, so me using Willow this will not do much here. Um, what moves can I get? Well, obviously, Roar of Time, Flash Cannon, Dragon Moves as well, yeah. The nothing that's super effective against me right now is I'm honestly down to just go with um a Shadow Punch on the Dialga here. Oh, he's gonna need to help me hand Dialga. Oh, that could be. That could be. Well, that Mankey's gone. I'm playing that right now. That Mankey's gone 100%. Like, that Mankey is done, though. Yeah, like he, he, he just, he just out here. Shadow Punch though. That ain't good, that is not good. Um, okay. Let's try Shadow Punching the Growler. Oh, he's just gonna keep a helping hand at Dialga, isn't he? At this point, I think that's all that's gonna happen. Oh, Light Screen, that's a really, really good move by Dawn because, okay, Metal Claw, fair dues, but like, that, he's normally a special attack for most of his moves, so like, as far as I'm aware, so that's actually a pretty good play. With my bulk on, you know, Dust Club as it is, I'm pretty happy with that. Even for Roar Time Crit here, I don't think I get taken out here. I don't even think at his level, Dialga even has Roar of Time, you know, so. Yeah, alright, Grelic goes down, so now we can two and one of Dialga. Metal Claw on Mr. Mime again, alright, cool. 
Like, I can't really do much to this Dialga. Like, that's the thing. I don't really have a move that can hit it hard. Sand true. Um, okay. I'm actually gonna do a swap here. What could take this? Wait, Marina's got a flamethrower, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That definitely would work. Or do I go with Alexa? Ember, no. But I do have Tail Glow, you know. I got that in the last episode, actually. Yeah, I thought you'd go into the sun shoe, that's fine with me. Well, of course he gets the paralysis, wow. Oh, that ain't doing nothing, so I ain't doing nothing, fam. Also, the reason why I'm not speeding up this fight is because technically I kind of have a semi-important battle here. Deep breath comes off. Didn't do much to me, no. Nah. Flamethrower, now that should do a decent amount. I would take at least half damage here. Yeah, about half damage, I'll do that. Roll out, chip damage of anything. And then another flamethrower, I should do it right. I don't think, have they even win for any of my mons this entire fight? I think maybe one, and that's it, right? And then I'll go down after that? Yeah, let's go. Let's get it, let's get it. Oh, that stings up Pokemon as chumps. Oh, I don't think the God of Time is, is no chump, my guy, but okay. We shouldn't we get new ones from headquarters. Yeah, what are you going to do? Get Palkia the same. Hmm, who cares about some Pokedex anyway? I think that's going to own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. There, take it. Take your Pokedex. Those things we had in the warehouse have already been moved to Pretoria City anyway. They will say you'll get yours and run like the grunts we are. Hmm, what's going on? Why seem glad to get out in the street like they own the place? Yeah, thank you sincerely, rather. I would have been lost without my decks. It's indispensable for helping Professor Rowan with his studies. What are we going to do now? I'm thinking of going to the Pokemon Mansion in Route 212. I hear they show rare Pokemon to visitors there. And this is the way look at company that plan them. I have no fear, I have come running. I have heard of children feuding with the Team Galactic. It turns out, of course, to be you. Oh, is that funny man from Jib Life? You insult me to my face, I have very un... whatever that word means of you. I'm terribly sorry. Team Galactic took my Pokedex. I was very irritated. I just blowed out. I should be going now. Be wary of Team Galactic. It is of no matter. A more interest is the criminal behaviour of the Team Galactic. They attempt to steal the belongings of a child. The scale of the criminality seems rather minuscule. The triviality of their action makes them more sinister, perhaps. The warehouse needs investigation coming, me and we'll take a look. I think they did this little bit though, because in, in Diamond and Pearl it's the same location of HM, the, the fly HM, and you could actually completely miss this if you don't go in. It's that little item before the door on the right hand side here, between the two, like, crates. Anyway, hmm, a key is necessary for us to go on. For the time being, we cannot give chase to the two run away. Ah, the hidden machine is of the hidden fly. Keep this you should be keeping. It will not do to leave this item here to be used by the Team Galactic. Though we did not learn very much from exercise, no matter. What concerns me is that I have overheard in the game corner. The Team Galactic have transported something to Pastoria City. What they are up to, I do not know, but I have bad feelings about it. Alright, so basically it's in the same location as it would be in like Diamond and Pearl, but I think if you if I don't think there's someone to tell you to come in here in Diamond and Pearl, so you can completely miss this HM. I think that's why they added it and plan them. If I'm being honest, I would have had bad day guess. Fucking up by that, I completely forgot there's a random item up here. What's this? Mental herb, isn't that like for like a I swear mental herbs more like a zonia set up and compare. Ah, it snaps them out of um love once. Okay, whatever. Okay, with that, we're done with Vale Sun City, so let's head on south towards Pastoria onto the next route, which will be a new encounter area. And if anything interesting happens with the NPC trainers rather than me just walking all over them, then um, I will cut to that and let you guys know. I'm trying, I'm trying to, um, I've looked at the earlier part of the series, I'm trying to cut a lot of the NPC trainers that, honestly, a lot of filler happens in and just keep it to the main fights of the series. If you guys want me to include more of the actual NPC trainers though, let me know and I can include them back and I'm just trying to cut down the video length as much as I can. Alright, finally the train is defeated. God damn. <laughs> I'm still gonna give you a little confirmation to be like, oh yeah, I've defeated the trainer, but I'm not I'm just gonna like, you know, like skip directly halfway down the road and be like, oh yeah, I defeat all of them because there's no, there's no like, there's no like guarantee to be like, oh yeah, I can't, I like, someone died and I just edited it out of the episode, you know what I mean? I will still show you if I'm beating NPC trainers or not, you know what I'm saying? 
Just checking it isn't part of another route. No, two, route 214 and then route 213 down here are two new encounters. We can't, sadly can't go into route 222 yet and we can't get into the Valor Lakefront yet, so that's not available. 214, 213, we never got onto 212, so that's also a new encounter there. So potentially maybe three new encounters today in today's episode, I would say. Oh yeah, Ruin Maniac Cave, that is technically another new area. Remember, the ruling for the um, new encounters is whenever that little thing in the top left appears, which is right 214. If it's a completely different name for this area, this is technically an encounter. I can't remember if you get an encounter in the room. There you go, never mind, you do. You know what, I'll take that. I will take a man cave, because Frey may be bad. I will actually gladly take that, you know. Alright, let's pop over into Casper then real quick. Screech, that's okay. I don't think it can really hit me too much. Let's go will o -Wisp. Yeah, see, Karate Chop can't hit me. Uh, then let's swap into... Go into Mumina. How much damage are we talking? A bit more than I would like, if I'm being honest. I think it's... We know it's got Screech, Seismans, Talk, and Karate Chop. Let's go back into Casper. Yeah, I think I would be okay with it. Actually, I didn't even check how many balls we have. Okay, no, we've actually got a decent amount. Let's just try a regular ball at this range. I'm not too confident in catching this thing, you know what I'm saying? We won, okay, fair. Let's upgrade to a great ball, see how that does. Alright, easy as that. Female man here. Again, you guys know what it's like with the bad nicknames. So the first female head I think that comes to my head, unless I think of a reference, I'm just going to go with it. Screw it. I'm just gonna, just gonna name it this way. <laughs> like it'll say a literal first female name that came into my head there. So yeah, another new addition to the team. And TM76 for focus blast. Okay. Nice. I may end up having to get an encounter here, but let's see if we do or not. Okay, nice. I wasn't wanting that patch. There's one specific patch of grass later in the route. Oh, that's the most useless item ever, by the way. There is one specific patch of grass I really like in this right layer down. It's quite a big patch of grass and I have quite a lot of different characters in it that I'm wanting to get to, so you'll know when I cut to it, okay? Damn it, first patch of grass. I wasn't the bad guy I was hoping for, so what's the encounter for this route? Not a good one. This is not a banger. This is not a banger, and I know bangers. I know bangers. Cascoon. I can't remember if that evolves into um beautiful like, dust dogs. By the way, they're not that great for us. Look, they're not really defensive. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Uh, let's just go into Aerodactyl then. I guess. Right? Maybe. Oh, I just crap. Okay. Oh well. I wasn't expecting that, I wasn't expecting it to be the color of that. Alright, I would have created it before. Oh, well, we'll see if we lost on camera. It wasn't a big deal anyway, honestly, so whatever. There is a night down here, I need to get that real quick. This is this this was the badge of grass I bugged, and the same badge of grass I could have got a meta pod as well. Uh for butterfree wow. All the bugs are down here. Oh, a root fossil. Did I ever I'm gonna need to go back and um see what the fossil is that I found in our turn of forest because I know they're not for some reason they're not well Okay, cool game. Cheers, thanks for that. Could have had that, but no, alright. As I was saying, um, I need to go and check the Eternal Forest episode to see what fossil I got because if that's a unique type of fossil I got, not a repeat fossil, that is another token because obviously the fossils I didn't have an up-to-date like version of the randomizer, it doesn't randomize the fossils but in future series I've got the randomization file update that will actually randomize that it encounters like fossils now. Wait, hang on a minute. 214? Oh crap! You know what I'm telling you about that specific patch of grass I wanted to do? It was this patch of grass right here that I'm about to walk into. So this actually counts as Valor Lakefront. So we get straight up another encounter here, okay. I mean, hey, I, I, I'm down, I'm down, you know what I'm saying? What we got? Come on, hit me with your best shot. Is that like, I like that. I like that a lot. Every cross is solid. 
as one of the few bug types I will absolutely take without a shadow of a doubt. No pun intended, I've got shadow, you know, on both the names here. Again, our best bet right now is to use like, you know, will o -Wisp because simply put, you lost our Thunder Waver and it'd be nice if you can hit your will o -Wisp, please. Thank you. We know it's got Aerial Ace and Brick Break. Um, that's okay. I don't want to hit with a Shadow Tinker. Can I just whittle it down a little bit? Let's just throw a regular ball and see what's happening. Probably breaks it immediately here. Nah, okay. Oh, it's got counter. Eh, it's got counter. Keep an eye on that. Eh, it's definitely got counter. Okay, you know. Wow, a regular Pokeball caught a, a caught a pretty much full of Heracross in that range. That is actually insane. Uh, well then, I wasn't actually expecting that. Holy <laughs> okay. Female Heracross. You shall be named Lucy. I was thinking of doing Bugsy as a reference to the Johto, you know, bug type gym leader, but I was like, no, that's probably not creative enough. What's up with all the crappy mail in this game? <laughs> That would have been dupes, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> As you can see, this is the, the actual lake itself is like blocked off, so that's fine with me. Nice, got the sweet key. There's a little side quest, but basically someone drops their like uh, key down here, and I can't remember if they give you an item or not, so let's go ahead and get it. So I'm pretty sure they give you an item or some sort, but what is it again? Or is this the white fluid? No, it's not a randomized. Okay, never mind. <laughs> When I get rock climbing that though, by the way, I will be coming back for these little peel items. Alright, what's this item in? Ooh, we take those, more money. And when we come out here, don't we go into Route 213 if I'm not mistaken? Yep, so this is another new encounter area for us. How many mail today? Jesus Christ! What? Alright, let's go and face a couple of trainers. Executor. All right, tail glow. I does more damage than I like it to do, to be honest. Oh, because I'm actually getting close to level now. I never should kill up from that range. Yeah, critical hit, tail glow. You, you kidding me? And what do you? What does this little kid have? I'm going for a super potion here, just because Cactuar might be a little bit scary. And missile, yeah, because I got a multi hit move. I thought so. And they yeah, love to cheese for some reason. This game always hit five times. Tail glow. Yep. Let's say that is okay. Let's use an ember. Yeah, one shot, nice. Yeah, and that plus three um special tire wrap that is actually insane by the way. Genuinely. Voila. Ember. Amnesia, that's fine. You're slower than me. I should be able to kick you out. Nice. Scup it. That is the next pre-evolution, right? Alright, we can keep battling. I think I will not be able to one-shot it from that level, because I'm gonna heal up and then probably use bite in it. Curse. Okay. Ember, surely. Even even though it's not to be if it's plus three, it should take you out. Lovely, because then hit that thing in the bow, the curse won't come off. Easy. Nice. Alright, so since we don't have access to Sophia, guys, this patch of grass here is the only area in Route 213 we can get an encounter, so let's just hope for the best, shall we? You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, it's been good here. Come on, give me the guess the Raptor or Luxury. I'll take that any day of the week. Make sure Luxury of Intimidate. Okay, regular encounter music. No, that's not really what I'm looking for. If you give me like a Roselia or something, or a Roserade, I would put that 100%. Oh, you I guess, but these aren't great encounters, I can't lie. All right, well, the Wisp it is. Nice, cool, lovely. Male Cherim then, what do we call you? You won't ask me why, but Brian's the first thing that came into my head. We're gonna call you Brian. <laughs> like I said, we do have a, we do have the nickname, you know, like the nickname, like the, the name changer available to us at any point. So if you guys get any better nicknames for these guys, just leave them in the comments. And with that, guys, we have reached Pastoria City. Hopefully they just made that not, like, not too long. There was three encounters there, so maybe a little bit longer than I'm thinking it's gonna be, but who knows? Oh, Hold up. There is a body of water inside of Pastoria City. 
hmm, I've got two options here. I can either do it via the fishing encounter, or I can try my luck at the Great Marsh. Now I need to know, does this count as a separate area altogether, or is it still Pistoria City? Yeah, I'm not gonna pay money just to see if it does or not, so no, I think it all counts as the same area. Just so I don't need to spend money, um, I'm just gonna actually go with a fishing encounter ins instead and see what we get for Pretoria City's encounter. Okay, we got one. Oh, why is it? Go special encounter music. Oh, it's not special encounter music. Ooh, actually, I will take that. I've got impossible evils, like, on. So I would be able to get a Gengar out of this. A hundred percent. If that's what ever goes down, a Gengar would be a fantastic option. I would need to look into the log file for this, because I do have a log file for this nonsense to see how it evolved. I think it's like maybe like level 40 or something like that, but I would need to double check that, but an Ultra Ball at level 4 might just honestly capture it. No, wow, okay. This is fine. Well, a whisper, yeah, kill okay, the stats condition on it. Uh, let's try some great balls. Beautiful, easy as that. All right, welcome to the squad, Alex the Ghastly. All right, before we go any further, I'm just gonna go ahead off camera, go back into the route because there's a lot of, items, a lot of field items that have been randomized that I can't get because I do not have, um, what do you call it? A rock smash user on me. So I'm just gonna bring Angelica with me, right? And then we are going to go and pick up the items. If there's anything interesting, I will just cut straight to that. And do remember guys that um, I have full HM compatibility on just for the ease of being able to get around. So we're just going to use Angelica as a HM user basically, all right? So I will see you if there's any interesting items that I find. Brand to the NBC, let's see what he's got. Yeah, that left us with a little bit scary, but we took it out. All right, nothing much, honestly, kind of a joke. <laughs> Bro, we could have a proud and plot, man. And Polio goes hard at it in a nuzlocke because Water Steel is a fantastic defensive typing, and it hits hard as well, man. I would, I would have taken Rumpel up in, in a heartbeat. It's on camera right now, but I do have like a, you know, a Pop-Up Squishmallow and stuff like that. We, even though Tur Tur Twig was my first ever Pokemon, I do, I, I do have, a, I have a soft spot for all three of the single starters. Like, I would do that. Oh, right, yeah, I haven't fought you either. <laughs> Alright, and then there's another MC down. I didn't, expect, I didn't expect him to be a spinner, because he, didn't, he wasn't moving whatsoever. Okay, fair enough. Hey, Loa. Pursuit. And pursuit again. Yep, MPC down. Ah, that's only for a honey tree, okay. I do know there's definitely an item around here that requires rock smash, though. Ah, it was over there, right, yeah. Annoying. That's what I usually get sure when you try to get past it. All right, what do you have? Magmar. Shadow Punch. All right, nice, easy. Sky Attack. Unfortunately, it's a two-turn move, so that's not really too great. So all in all, these things were actually pretty mid. <laughs> I do have to say overall, guys. So I'll just move on to Pistoria City, right? Well, actually, before we actually go ahead and take on the Pistoria City gym I've got something that we need to do Ooh, this place has got quick balls and dust balls uh, let's buy five quick balls oh that's a lot of money though Ooh, let's sell off some stuff let's also buy five dust balls as well yeah The reason why I think we have something to do though is because we come over here to Route 212. It is a new encounter, guys, so we can get a new encounter over here, right? I didn't even know, I didn't even know Route 212. She has the same encounter theme as Route 29. Because I'm never, I'm never usually going this route. And our Route 212 encounter is... Is that in decent place? Brother, uh, What's that, brother? That is literally oh, scraping the barrel of dog shit, like mods you can actually get. You can't, you can't even get his evolution, that's tied to sword and shield, and above. Or in later rather, like Gen 8. Oh, I'm not happy about that, like. All right, well it was blah, 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 blah. Great ball, just getting the ball out of the course a lot. 
It really healed its what they call a burner, you serious? And it's got recover. I feel like I just feel like knocking this thing out unironically. There we go. Yes, I'm going to name you. I'm just going to name you. Why? How many damn milliums are we getting today, by the way? Oh my god. And another mental herb. Alright, cool. Lovely. And <laughs> fun. Great. Alright, let's fight a couple of trains to get some money. Actually, let's go. Alright, that's one NPC done. Ember, one shot, even in the rain. Yeah, nice. Ooh, finally. Finally, we got a decent move here. Uh, let's get rid of smog for fire fang, yes. Not gonna be the main move that I'll be using throughout the entire playthrough, however, like I will put I will be more in special side now that we got tail glow, but it is nice to have that option, I do have to say. Against physical uh weak enemies. Ember? Yeah, boom, nice. Bro, don't talk to me right now. I could have had a Yan Mega on the team. My Mega is one of my favorite bug types from Gen 4. I cannot be arsed. Today I was hiding in the bottom of the snow. That really would take either of them right now. That's finally a decent TM. Bone Rush. Good ground type move. Multi hit ground move. Why well, is she talking about Bone Rush? I thought Riolu is sitting in the PC that could totally use that. It's one of his main moves, and usually his moves here is Bone Rush. It depends what that's been randomized from, though. Actually, no, I think because it's a field aim, it's got regular learn compatibility, so I think Lucario would be able to learn Bone Rush. That's not a bad one to have, actually. I'll take that. Um, let's use Bubble Beam right back at Weasel because of the war that's up. Or the vein that's up, rather. Nice. Punch Crow. Um, yeah, Aurora Beam, actually. Do a job here. Nice. Push him in one down. Ooh, Registeel. Okay, now that's something to rest the show. I should be faster than Registeel. That might have explosion, but Flamethrow, I think, might just take out, you know? Not quite. Okay, I've got to be careful here. Um, I'm just going to move me melt this, just in case it goes for explosion here. First. Okay, that's not great. Flamethrow? I can survive one. Yep, I'm faster. Take it out. All right, cool. Nice. Or bog. I'm pretty sure poison will be to psychic. It's one of the two. I can't remember which way it is. Okay, it is. It is psychic against poison. All right, cool. All unevolved Pokemon. Or about another Charmander, a couple stuff like that. Nothing too hard for my, uh, you know, Marina to deal with. And down. All right, that's great. They had that um, trainer had randomized him to Seal and Dugong. If I'm not mistaken, Seal evolved into Dugong, or did I get that wrong? I swear that's what it may be. If that's the case, that's crazy. They both randomized into the evolutions of that same thing, you know? All right, that's trash. Yes, sir. What? What the f That's twice in today's episode on a route that I could have got Mewtwo. I didn't get Mewtwo. Wow, what? What are the chances, by the way? That is crazy. Gyarados. Um, side beam. Can't really do much to me other than try go. I oh, got a double flinch, didn't it? That thing's got Dragon Rage. I should have expected that, honestly. Okay, cool. Instead of Dragon Rage, that thing hasn't really done much to me, so we can at least factor that in real quick. All right, maybe to heal up. We're gonna go. What's there? Okay. Side beam again. Okay, yeah, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff, Muna. The image is always a scary move, even in the mid game. All the things like two to three Dragon Rages and that, and I think it's dead, you know what I mean? They also had Arcanine. Cool. Lovely. That's what I want to see in it. Like that. Nope. Okay, one more flame pro. Oh, because of the. I forgot because of the rain. Yep. We can. Still got through one of them, though. Let's go play the other one now. Oh, we'll stun us for evolving uh, Hapini into Chansey, I think. Is Hapini into Chansey or Chansey into Blissey? I can never remember which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it's Hapini. Leech Seed, meh. Could be useful if we get a decent grass type. Okay, another MC down. I have a need to get money just fight these two over and over with the versus seeker. It's literally the easiest money making method in plan by far, so I'll keep that in mind. Okay, cool. So we can get access to the trophy garden. As you saw, the little thing pop up as I go into the area. So it does count as a new area entirely. Trophy garden top left, that's a new area. 
but it's like a sub area kind of thing you know what i'm saying i had a feeling that's why i came over here to check okay let's go see where encounter is god it, came, it can't be anything worse than we've got in today's episode and before i get like a feedback or something now encounter there we go Not it, Chief. That is not it. I think everything's have sucked today, by the way, straight up. Like, they've been, like, kind of bad. <laughs> Ooh, nightshade. Okay, uh... I'll be careful about that. Marina has a big amount of max HP. Let's use a super potion on Marina and swap in her. Oh, yeah, leash life in this game is, like, really bad. Only a 20 base points of 80 base points, like it does nowadays. Okay, let's go Great Ball here. Lovely. Ariados, female. Ooh, what can I think of your name? Female name, let's go with Casey. Don't know why. Okay, another embassy then. What about you though? What do you have? Gyarados. Okay, we do know it's been kind of dragon range. Be careful of that. Let's go back into... Go oh, Marina. There, that's fine. Let's go side beam. Clinched. Is that dragon image I was expecting, honestly? You know, super potion. There we go, that's okay. Side beam. Almost side beam. You son of a gun. I could have been mad. Thrash with a minus to defense. Could have done something now. Move milk. I think friends at any point we were in trouble, by the way. I feel like we got away with one there, can't lie. Hmm. Let's have an NT. Let's bring in uh, Marina. Low level though. Mist and oh cool, lovely Marina, good stuff. Beautiful. And last one, but do this thing's gonna die easily. <laughs> I think that is every trainer on this route, as far as I'm aware. Of, back up to Harlem City, yes, that is. All right, so let's go back to Pastoria and see where we're setting out with our team then. Alright, so I've been recording for an hour and three minutes now, but I've a lot of that, especially during that route just then, I was not really talking whatsoever. Like I said, I'll still show the little bits, like me defeating an AI to make sure I'm not cheating and not, not, cut, not cutting out mons dying. Make sure that it shows them beating them and all that, right? But like I say, um... Leave in the comments, do you want me to show the entire AI fight? Because honestly, not really much happens in them, and like, I'm going to be showing a couple of examples of which stronger mons do come into the, the you know, the fray, like... I think I had a couple of through Dragon Rage, uh, a Registeel, an Entei at one point. So it's not like I'm lying to you guys, you know I mean? I'll show you if like a Mon dies in those final fights. Just let me know if you'd rather, if you, you prefer this style, let me cut out just random, you know, fellow niche battles and then leave it to the main fights so we can get more like actual main content in the videos. Or if you want me to include all the AI uh, fights like I was doing before. Like I said, I'll be going for about an hour. Um. I think I'm going to actually separate the episodes here. I'm actually going to go ahead and go into the Pastoria City Gym right after this, but I'm going to end this episode right here. So, if you'd enjoy part 9 of our Pokemon Plant and Random Item Slot, you know what I do. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, join the Discord if you're interested in keeping up to date with when I go live um, and when more YouTube videos go out. I've got all automated things for that in the server, so Discord links in the description as well of this video. But with that, this is the Cube signing out. Have a good one, stay safe, and we'll see you in part 10 for the Pretoria City Gym fight. Have a good one, stay safe, and peace.